All right, you guys, we're taking a look at the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. First of all, this color is absolutely phenomenal. I do like the wheels on that. They're very sporty and aggressive, and I like that it's got a two-tone red and black. I think that looks really, really nice. I'm really not a fan of the Grand Wagoneer, but honestly, this one is very, very nice. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this is aggressive. This is sporty. I'm going to take a look on the inside. I'm a big guy, so let's see how well I fit in the front and the back. I like that it's got a two-tone door handle, black on top, red on the bottom. Let's see, okay, this offers the yellowish, tannish color interior, which not a huge fan of. I'd probably go with a different color, but it really pops against the black. And you've got a nice red accent light in here as well. Some wood paneling on the doors, which I really like. All right, and I'm gonna move this seat back just to see how much room I have up here. And okay, it's still going. Wow, okay. This is the most space I've had in any car that I have sat in at this auto show, hands down. Uh, if you're a big guy, this car is definitely gonna work for you. You got your nice cluster up here, nice big infotainment system right here as well. You got plenty of room to put your phone and drop it on wireless charging along with tons of charging ports down here, HDMI cable. You got your shifter, your terrain select right here. We've got some cup holders that are illuminated right here. A nice big, there we go, a nice big cubby right there in the center and some more wood grain throughout the dash through the other door. A nice gigantic dual panoramic sunroof as well. I've gotta say, this is a very, very nice and clean interior. Like I said, I was not a big fan of this car when they first released them, but this one might change my mind. Anyway, let's go look in the back seat and see how well I fit back there. All right, back seat. Make sure it is moved back all the way. It is, okay, so more of the same back here as far as interior goes. Let me jump in here, and it's a little tight. If the front seat is moved all the way back, the back is a little tight for me, but if I move it forward maybe two inches, I would be good to go, and I'd still have plenty of room up front, so no gripe there. Got more illuminated cup holders and cubby space back here, along with some remotes so that you can watch TV. And there is a third row that seats two more people. So this particular model seats six, and there is more than enough room back there for some kids, teenagers. Uh, you got plenty of room for car seats up here if you need to. All right, so it will not let me open the trunk from the back. You got a little bit of trunk space with these back seats flipped up, but if you were to flip these down, you'd have more than enough room for a couple of runs to Sam's Club or Costco. It also offers these tan seat belts that match the interior very well. Uh, overall, this is a very, very good looking car inside and out. I really do like this red and black color combo they have going on the outside. Uh, again, the tan interior is not my first pick. But other than that, the inside is absolutely phenomenal. This particular model starts at 43,000, but optioned out like this, you're probably looking closer to 60.